Okay, so in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install IP Cam Viewer Pro to be able to view your cameras externally. Um, so I'll just get started first uh, by explaining a couple of things. Now, the process is the same to set this up on an iPhone, an iPad, or an Android device. The only difference is where you go to get the app. So on an Android device like I've got here now, we go to the Play Store to get the app. If you're using an Apple device, um, you'll just access the application from the App Store. So if you're using an Apple, click the App Store now for me. And because I'm on an Android, I'll click the Play Store. So we're just going to search for the application and type into the top here, IP Cam Viewer Pro. Hit search and it's the top one there. Now the best way to know if it's the right application is it does cost about $4. It is the best app we've found uh, to do it. And the publisher for Android is Robert Chow. Uh, if you're seeing that and you're using an Android device, you know it is the correct device. If you're on an Apple device, the publisher should say nibbles and bits, just under IP Cam Viewer Pro there. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit, hit install and accept and it's going to start downloading. Now whilst this is downloading, uh, again, uh, if you haven't yet received the information to connect to your camera system externally uh, from us, please give us a call now, hit pause, and uh, or shoot us an email and we'll get that information to you. So that would be an external IP address, a username, and a password. Okay, so that's just installing now. Okay, we're just going to open up that application now by clicking on the IP Cam Viewer icon. Okay, so next we're going to add the first camera. So we're just going to, we're in the Manage Cameras section now. You can see that at the top there. Just going to press the plus icon just there. And we're going to select IP camera, DVR, NVR from the list. Now for the name at the top, I'd recommend giving it a name of the location you're at. And then also after it, write camera one, because we're going to be setting up camera one first. So the make, next line down, click on that. And we'll select dedicated micros and the model eco dvr now in host slash ip this is where you put in the external ip address that we send to you so i'm just going to type that in now port is 1214 channel now for camera one it's going to be channel one so I put in channel one there in username this is where you put the username that we have sent to you already and password, the unique password that we've given you as well. Now first thing we're going to do is hit test underneath that and we'll wait to see an image come up down the bottom. Now this should come up uh, pretty quickly depending on your connection. There we are, we have an image. We're going to press save just there. Okay, so that's actually the hard work done. Now what we're going to do is copy the settings and clone the cameras for each camera. So I'm going to press and hold on this camera here. Press clone camera there. And you can see it's renamed it to be camera 2 and channel 2. I'm going to hit save there. Next thing we're going to do is press and hold on camera 2, press clone, and that'll now give me camera 3. And then press save again there. And you can continue going down the list here until you've got every single camera that you have on your camera system listed. Now if I click back here, top left hand corner, you'll see it's now starting to load up. And this will show me the individual cameras 
and I can double tap on the camera, pinch and zoom in if you want, and then just press back. To change across different camera views, just slide this bottom slider across till the next camera loads up. Again, uh, depending on your internet connection, should be pretty quick. All right, now if you want to view all the cameras at once, you can press this grid looking icon at the top and it will bring up each camera. And again, double tap on the camera that you want to look at. Okay, so that is how to set up IP Camera Viewer Pro. Um, if you did have any questions at all, please feel free to shoot them through to us or give us a call. Thanks very much and have a great day.